So steady with the flow. Live a fast life, put the pedal to the flow. Now we ride out. Good day everybody. Today I wanted to talk to you about the conglomerate Unilever as you can see and some of their famous brands they operate such as uh, Axe Body Spray, Lipton Iced Tea and of course Dove Body Soap. So this past summer uh, there was a massive shakeup internally and externally with their marketing and its strategies and execution and as you will see there are some big changes going on right now at Unilever but uh, as you'll see towards the end of this video when it comes to their brand Dove, maybe it was too little too late. So let's jump into some of the shakeups uh, happening this summer with Unilever first. There's this really great article written by Jack Neff on Ad Age explaining this shakeup that I wanted to walk you guys really quickly through some of the high points of this. So as we scroll down here, uh, basically we're talking about how Unilever was possibly going to be acquired, but that failed. So we come down here and we start to see that Unilever is now thinking about doing more in-house production and less work with creative agencies. So they say here that they will continue to work with uh, marketing agencies and creative agencies alike, but that they want to bring a lot more of this work in-house uh, moving forward. Um, keep going down, you'll see that they admitted to using more than 3,000 agencies, which seems incredible. Unilever is a massive global company, but 3,000 agencies does seem a little bit crazy. So apparently they're looking to half that amount of agencies and bring a lot of that work um, in-house. So another interesting thing they want to do is the way they have uh, the compensation structure with these agencies and move from more than just a, a fee-based kind of compensation to a more of a performance model. And this isn't too surprising as a lot of marketers, especially as digital marketing continues to grow, uh, moving to performance metrics, um, things that truly show ROI and, and, and effect on uh, bottom line. Okay, so they're going to cut creative agencies, they're going to cut marketing agency ties, they're going to cut overall production of content, most likely video, just the volume of videos that they create, and they're gonna bring more of that in-house. They're going to let go of some you know, mid to senior managers and consultants. They're going to run ads longer until they really fatigue and, and start failing in performance. Um, they're also going to just have an overall drop in, in marketing spend. So these tactics are part of this new overhaul, but, um, there's still some weaknesses here that I'm going to demonstrate with their brand Dove, which had a complete PR nightmare. The skincare brand Dove has pulled a racially insensitive advertisement that sparked outrage over the weekend. The ad went viral on social media after being shared by a popular makeup artist. Dove has since apologized, but many consumers say they plan to boycott the brand. Okay, so Dove posted this three-second ad on their Twitter account. Check it out for yourself. So obviously there was a big backlash to that three-second ad, but here is Dove's response. As part of a campaign for Dove Body Wash, a three-second video was posted to the U.S. Facebook page which featured three women of different ethnicities, each removing a t-shirt to reveal the next woman. The short video was intended to convey that Dove Body Wash is for every woman and be a celebration of diversity, but we got it wrong. It did not represent the diversity of real beauty, which is something Dove is passionate about and is core to our beliefs, and it should not have happened. We have removed the posts and have not published any other related content. This should not have happened, and we are reevaluating, reevaluating our internal processes for creating and approving content to prevent us making this type of mistake in the future. We apologize deeply and sincerely for the offense that it has caused, and do not condone any activity or imagery that insults any audience. 
So the black woman in this creative actually told the BBC News that the original spot was a TV creative. So the social media three second spot was more of something taken out of context and that it was not intended to be racist and she didn't feel it was like that at all. So I think there's two maybe morals to be derived from this and is, is one, are we too quick to be offended and politically correct? Um, and possibly is there too many um, agencies and companies uh, not having enough diversity in this creative process and or the approval process because this is something that shouldn't happen it shouldn't be taken out of context anyways so maybe we need to not just celebrate diversity in our creatives as marketing agencies and brands but celebrate diversity in terms of our employees and who's actually working on these uh, so steady with the flow Live a fast life, put the pedal to the flow Now we ride out You want a sideline player, call the timeouts I'm about the love of the game, boy, you find out When it's all said and done, I'ma do it up Big kinda like dynamite, yeah, we blew it up 